Good morning, brothers and sisters. Um, I'd like to come to you with a request. I would like you guys to pray for Pastor Patrick for his uh, ministry over in the Philippines. They're having some problems with the funding with uh, PayPal and with the other account that he has. So please intercede for him and for those children. There are like 400 children. So spend some time today speaking to the Lord about this thing that God Almighty Himself would intervene in this thing and that the, that He would uh, clear this up. And I wanted to let you know, i got a whining dog. Oh, Abigail! Abigail! Oh, you silly dog! Oh, you silly dog! Look, uh, I've been having a couple of dreams here lately, and um, this morning I was dreaming about a flood coming in. I keep having dreams about water, a flood of water coming. I don't know exactly what it means over and over again. And uh, I heard the song, and this is weird, I was in a 1950s hospital, and I heard the song, A Rubber Band man <laughs> it's a really old song it talks about if you read the lyrics of it, it talks about get ready to go and then it talks about the lord and about his grace and stuff like that in there i know it's a worldly song i don't know why i heard it and then today the yesterday i heard the song i was praying to the lord and i said lord i have i've had all these dreams and things have actually happened that you showed me in these dreams and what is going on i don't understand this and i said you know <laughs> is the rapture still going to happen like i saw and so i dreamed that i dreamed um I was dreaming these odd things, and then I hear the song in my dream by Chris Rock. And, and I don't listen to this kind of music, really. I mean, I listen to his, he's got one song, First Kiss, and it reminds me of my wife and I when we first met. So I've played that a few times, but <clears throat> this song is a weird song. It's got like reverb in his voice in the beginning of it. He's on a bus or something. I found the song, and in this song... He's talking about going home and about people get what they put in and they get they get what they deserve. So it's called Only God Knows. <laughs> and I'm asking God about this. Why is this happening? Why? Have, I've had definite dreams like where I saw things that are impossible to see and those things actually happen and then the rapture occurs but yet that doesn't happen for instance i was praying probably about three years ago two years ago and my wife and i were just arguing you know she's constantly berating me or badgering me about my beliefs i can't play christian music around her not even a single note if it's on the tv and i stop and look at it for a second instant retribution and so and even now, it's down to other songs. I really like the song, uh, the music from Oblivion. And so, uh, anyway, if you go watch that movie, the new movie, uh, Avengers Infinity Wars, you'll see God in that. The, it's really powerful. If you can look through all the rest of it, and if you can wipe your eyes and see God is in control of every single thing. Even those movies. So, in in the this, I prayed, and I was like, God, you got to help me. I can't take this. And so I dreamed that I was out in my yard, and it was at night, and I was washing this black thing, and I was like, Abby, hush. I was at, I was wondering, what is this thing? I recognize it, but I don't know what it is. What is this? And the garage door was open, and I was across the yard near this faucet that's outside, and I was washing this thing, and I was feeling of it, and in the dream, I was like, I know what this is. What is this? Is it 
is it like it was black and I was thinking well maybe it's some kind of toolbox or something and so um, about that time my wife calls me and she calls me bear and she says bear and, and then I said I'm out here and she said bear and she opened the garage door and she and I said I'm over here and there was the garage there was light coming from the garage and so she come walking towards me and I was washing this thing and it had like a lip on it the lip was curved like this and then it went fl flat on one side and then made a little dip and they went down and it was a, a pan of some kind and so you're not getting to stay out very long silly dog so Hannah will go out there's another one of those Jewish names Hannah and so there she is oh sweet girl yes she has a chihuahua kind of head it's okay good girl it's a show dog anyway so as my wife comes walking towards me she gets within and I'm like kneeling on one knee and I'm washing this thing boom the rapture happens and my wife I could see her eyes dilate to full black and she tried to grab me because she knew it was happening somehow she could see it and she tried to grab me and she fell as I went up okay and so I woke up from that dream immediately after I had dreamed it and the rapture took me up I, I woke up and then I was thinking to myself what is that thing what was I washing what was going on and then what happens is about a month later or three weeks later she's like hey let's start making chicken for the dogs to eat because the dogs are getting sick from eating that regular dog food so we get out the thing to cook chicken in and it's this big 36 quart pan and and the liner for the pan is the thing in the dream that I was washing and so that was two years ago <laughs> or so the rapture didn't happen maybe two and a half years you see and other things have happened many many things God has shown me and then it gets to that point and part of it happens but that so I was asking God what is going on and then there's the song only God knows so have faith brothers and sisters I believe the Lord is coming that song rubber band man get your walking cane and get your hat you're getting ready to go you see I believe the Lord is coming I believe that all of this nonsense that we see in the world is just that. Look at Donald Trump. In my dream, it was like disgrace. It was a terrible thing. And I was thinking, did he die? What happened? They were selling his memorabilia. Every day they're attacking him. They're just bombarding Donald Trump, trying to destroy him. And of course, a lot of it is deserved. The thing with him messing around with that woman and all this other infidelity in his life and his little secret doing things like he's a businessman. You know, in the business world, they do that all the time. They try to buy things. They try to do things that are illegal, you know, and it's really, it's corruption, but it's allowed. And then you've got this black minister, this dude right here. See him? That guy preached at the great wedding, this great wedding of the bride on the very day of Shabbat starting. He preaches and what and this man believes in homosexuality and he believes in all this other garbage. He's highly radical, but yet millions of people watched him on the news. This world is corrupt. He stands in the place of God. He stands in the holy place behind the pulpit of God. And he stands there and he believes in homosexual marriage and all kinds of other garbage. And he's a radical person. Some of the things he said are not Christian-like. How can that man be a Christian when he sits there and says things about hurting people because of their color or race? Huh? To get even, got to get even, man, because of all the terrible things that were done in the past. Anyway, let's pray for Patrick. Dear Heavenly Father, my brothers and sisters and I come before your throne. We know one thing, God, that's absolute. Your word is true. So we ask in agreement, God, that you would undertake for Pastor Patrick's situation and he, you would heal this thing that's happened to his finances, God, in the mighty name of Yeshua. And if there are any out there that do not believe in Christ, we ask that they'd bow their hearts and their knees before the Lord and that they would seek him with all they have within them because it's about time. We're about to go, praise God. We're about to leave this wretched world. And Jesus Christ is about to put the end 
sin and iniquity and he's going to seal up the vision just like you see in the movies over there when you watch that movie infinity wars vision is killed it's destroyed it's the end of it god's thing is getting ready to happen praise god praise almighty god ye people praise the lord god almighty who created all things he is your father trust in him alone saith the lord trust in god alone for the end cometh the end is nigh saith the lord god believe in me have faith in me it was accounted unto abraham for righteousness in that he believed he didn't do anything he just believed in god Hallelujah. Blessed be the name. My people, I speak to you. You shall not go through the tribulation period. And those who say that you will, they are wrong. That is them. They shall go through the tribulation. <clears throat> I speak to you. Hallelujah. Glory unto my holy name. Bow before me and know that I am God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your words. Blessed be your name. Those false prophets all over YouTube are about to get their reward. Hallelujah. Watch that song. They get, they are about to get what they deserve. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.